We're here. Hello. Hi. Hello. He, this is the campaign with Kilius and not Mark. What what happened to Mark? Uh, a series of unfortunate events, aka natural ones. What about Domigin the Frag? <laughs> oh, that one was quicker. <laughs> oh, thank God. That one lasted even less time. <laughs> so to explain ourselves for those who didn't see the uh, previous offshot thing, we're playing different characters in the world of Curse of Strahd. <laughs> some which you've seen before, some which you've seen once, and a different adventure entirely, where we hopefully won't die instantly. Again, yeah, it's only happened Zylo twice already. Zylo and I's characters in this bit have seen a whole whopping like thirty minutes of screen time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so 30 is, seconds of screen it. time. But oh, don't worry. Killian McGregor is back. Until uh, we lost the fight. Uh, I'm talking about your uh, current uh, characters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, since it has been so long, let's go and, let's go and introduce our characters again. Killian, since you're the Killius, you can start. Killian McGregor. Uh, what, what do you want me to tell you? Uh, race, that he's a class, level and... 5 ranger no, you're not. and level 1 rogue. Oh, okay, yes you are. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm sure you multi-classed. Ah, we multi-classed. I place McGregor's back, and he's ready to rock this. He is a, a feral tiefling from the Highlands. And he's just broken out of prison cells with his buddies. Who are they? I always forget that now officially it is canon that Scotland is in... Uh, no, just the Highlands. Just the Highlands. Nope, just the, the oh. Scotland doesn't exist. <laughs> just the Highlands. It's the Highlands. <laughs> it's, it's part of one of the layers of hell. You know, it's yeah. <laughs> Okay. He has a teeth, a feral teethling, right? So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds about right. Fair. They send him um, up to the Highlands <laughs> when they go feral. All right. So tell us about this. You hit real low when you go to the Highlands. Oh, in, in the prison cell, you found Masaccio. He is a level six rogue turtle, master thief, master spy. Uh, he, he has no dexterity though, so this is a, a fun thing. Chat made the character, so yeah. Yep. So we have a turtle. Mm -hmm. It's arguably a class. Yes, we have a turtle and we have a goat. Yes. Um, <clears throat> what you got? What do you got for us? Yes, uh, so my character's Rakan, and he's a, a Scourge Asimar level 6 Paladin, uh, with the, uh, what's the, I don't remember what oath I took. Sounds like a Vestayan, if you ask me. Uh, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's Oath of the Watchers, I think is what I took, so, Yeah. It's. I mean, I haven't really had much time to flush it out, so... Yeah. There you go. Level 6, Scourge, Asimar, Paladin. And Marcy, so. we've yet to meet your character, but you want to give us a brief introduction of, of who we have there? Um, okay. My character is Iris. She's a, a barbarian shifter. And I don't know how much else I want to really say no, about that, her. That's fine, <laughs> Marcy wasn't here for the last time we started this, this session, so their character gets introduced now. And we have Angry Mario there staring at us all as we play. Oh god. Always a good we thing. We do? Do we? On the stream. You guys oh. want the stream pulled up, man? We need those views. Yeah, I do. I, just, uh, I have it pulled up, but I only have chat showing because my eyes I iPhone's see. Heard. Yeah. I have a character sheet covering that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It's up. We're just all covering it with more important things. I just didn't want to see Angry Mario. I was in the stream. I was just not tabbed into it. Same. All right. See, we all have our excuses. And they're not good. What? My, so, yeah. mine's, mine's good. Last time on last time on last time on last time of Curse of Strahd. I don't think it adds up properly. Killius and Mark. Uh, separated from, from the main group and went adventuring onto themselves to get more powerful to defeat the, the hags that put them in their place. And while in the process, they meet an another uh, tiefling running away from uh, some people in the woods. Attempting to help rescue it, they uh, def uh, defeat some uh, zombies that attack them, but eventually a zombie spawn attacks them. 
and are able to take them all captive. Well, some more captive than, than others. In the process, the tiefling they were trying to save and Mark himself perished in the fight. So Achilles and an unnamed uh, person named Flo was taken. An unnamed person named Flo. Wonderful. Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. Genius. <laughs> yeah. uh, Flo, and Flo, were, was it? Yeah. Flo and Achilles were taken captive. Uh... Not Flo. I don't think they, not Flo. Yeah, Flo. Nephis, Flo's the wrong ne character. Nephis. That's it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Achilles and Nephis were taken captive. Quickly breaking out of their jail cell, they meet other people who've been kidnapped there. Rackin and, Ma and Ma Masaccio. They free them. Rackin. Rackin? How do you pronounce it? Rakon? Rakon. 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 Rock on. Rock on. Rock on, Rock on. Rock on dude. Rock on, dude. Uh, but yes, freeing them, um, they head across the, the hallway to another jail cell, freeing a man who claims to know the way out of here, and on way to the, uh, to where their garments and weapons are being held. We open up with everyone in the, in the jail cell, discussing what the best plan of action is. Didn't I also use my divine sense to figure out where all the enemies were? I feel like I did. You, you did. Yes. Yes, you did. You did. Yes. There was one up the top of the stairs. Yeah. And there was someone around this hall down over here. Yeah. So we're surrounded and we have just fisticuffs. Yeah. Got it. Sounds like fun. You hear, All right. you hear uh, footsteps coming from the stairwell to your left. Um, Not to alarm anyone, but... We have someone uh, coming down the stairs. We should probably prepare to take care of that sooner or later. Perhaps Quick. we should pretend we're in our cells. Are the gates still open? Oh, yes, we, we were never in these cells. This is the wrong side. That is that is posing an issue. Look, I got a better idea. Let's just take a stance to the wall, and when they come in, we'll all whack them. That opportunity should suffice. Yeah, that would do. I guess we get our what? Our two strongest next to the door? Try and grapple them down? Alright. Well, who is that? Sakyo, I don't Sakyo, know you guys. Big seven foot turtle steps up. <laughs> yeah, we'll let that guy punch him. Nephis yeah. steps back. Ah, uh, the. The werewolf you guys freed also steps back, so it's gonna be um, oh, yeah. and a werewolf. Rock on, blocking yep. the uh, blocking the path. We're ready to ambush. But oh, they're, they're standing by the wall. So here's the plan. All right. Can I get I'm all gonna grapple him. I'm gonna grapple him, and I'm gonna and the turtle's gonna punch him in the gut. What do you wanna do, Zella? I just like to make sure I'm fully stealthed up. One right. with the shadows, you know. Yeah, stealth up. All right. I do not have a dexterity bonus, but I'm super stealthy. What? Ish. Rock on. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll take you. You are literally a shadow. <laughs> rock, uh, rock on. Do you One wanna, with the shadows. Do you want to give uh, a stealth check as well? Uh, yeah. I guess I could. Let me see. I keep. You have advantage because you're just standing there. Yeah. I'm also not wearing heavy armor. There you mm -hmm. go. Well, what's... Oh yeah, it's just because your stuff was taken off you. I was like, what does <laughs> yeah. this mean for your build? Oh no, we got our stuff yoinked. The 19, alright. <laughs> well, yeah, it right. just doesn't work. Why is it gray? It's, it's just normally it's if he's wearing his heavy armor, it's disadvantage, yeah. but currently. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just turned it off. Yeah. yeah. It's all good, we understand. But just in case, oh! can you explain it to me one more time? Uh oh. Uh, so, a uh, person walks through the door. Uh -oh. All right, we have our plan. You wanna uh, do your thing? Um, Only Achilles really knows who this is. Yep. Rakan was gonna grab him, and I was gonna punch yeah. him in the stomach. Is that the plan? I'm a, I'm a grapple him, I guess. <laughs> Do it. The strength check, right? Is it a check or saving throw? Uh, check. Okay. Cool, cool. And 
strength to break out. Yes. We're gonna beat him right here, guys. Oh my god, we're gonna kill Strahd in the All right, Masaccio <laughs> goes in with a big turtle. All right, one punch, Mr. man. Fury. Boom. End the campaign. A Thirteen. <laughs> I'm gonna say that it doesn't hit. That does, yeah. Yeah, that does not hit. Well, so, uh, so I punched Strad Bonzovich in the stomach. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate effect. for us. Uh, well, so he's still as grappled. you as you punch him, your fist kind of. Hmm. What is <laughs> what is your uh, AC uh, rock on? Right now, at the it's moment. Well. Okay, so Man, as, as you want to, as you want up your punch, oh my God. and go in, you see mist appear, and you, oh. just, hit, you just hit rock on right in the, in the chest. That's him seven damage. There goes the grapple. That's a lot of damage. That did not go to plan. And then just reappearing no. back where he once stood is Strahd von Zarovich. Uh. Ooh. Walking in shortly behind him. Is a smaller look looking figure. Iris, would you like to just explain what they see? Okay, so what you see behind him is um, what looks to be a weird person to be next to Strahd of all people, but it's she's a very very cute like girl with like dog ears and a dog tail, and her hair is really pink and curly and really pretty she just she does not look like she belongs here <laughs> uh, what was that for I don't hey. feel like we need to explain why we would attack you hey you I recognize you yes Khalid it is me when I invited you over for dinner I did not expect you to come through the basement I, you know the front door was open for you you know it wasn't exactly my choice. I got dragged here. Killed my friends and everything. Was this you? I... Did you kill Mark? No, I did not kill the Mark. I bet I'd not been. Otherwise, it wouldn't be his fist you'd be worrying about. I, I do greatly apologize. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know how hard it is to lose someone you love. Well, let's not go that far. Wait, I, I have Scott butt in for a second here. <clears throat> if he's dead, he wouldn't have had to worry about his fists regardless. I uh, assumed he was insinuating that it was going to be Killy's fist that I would have to deal with. I was well, talking yeah. about me. Yeah, okay. Um, well, you, uh, you ask him, yeah. very slow sometimes, aren't you? Here's the problem. Uh, Mr. Vaughn, whatever your name is, uh, can I run at him and, uh, while I'm running at him, can I activate my racial ability? What is your racial ability? Uh, it's called Radiant Consumption. Okay. So I can use my action to unleash a divine energy within myself, causing a searing light to radiate from me. Um, I transform for a minute, or until you end it as a bonus action. I shed light in a 10-foot radius and dim light for an additional 10 feet, so it's bright light, 10 feet, uh, dim light for 20 feet. And at the end of your, each of your turns, you and each creature within 10 feet of you take a radiant damage equal to half your level, round it up. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to try and tackle him while burning radiant damage. Um, I also get to deal extra radiant damage whenever I deal damage to an attack or a spell. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Go for it. Uh, okay. Is there anything I need to roll for it? I just roll an attack. Okay. <laughs> what kind of attack? I just go... Strength. <laughs> yeah, like, no... No proficiency behind it, so just a, a, a normal strength check would do it. Okay. Uh, attack. Oh, that's unfortunate. And he kind of just sidesteps as you run past him. 
Hang it. All right. Well, he's still within 10 feet of me. Yes. So. so you end your turn. Aren't Healing. we as well? Uh, yeah. Actually, I would get an extra attack if I can, but I know we're not in initiative order. <laughs> no. So, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, all I'm going to do is take a holy fist to his chest, hopefully, but... Um, you see, <laughs> my oaths really, really screw with the situation. <laughs> hmm. Hey, what are you doing, Rakan? That is <laughs> not very nice of you at all. I was coming to have a conversation, but... If you'd like to have a little tussle, I mean, we can have a have, we can have, we can have, we can have fun. No. So what do you want to talk about? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys do not enjoy it here in Barovia. I wouldn't have been my first choice. Well, frankly, not really here to on purpose, just sort of wandering. And then I came across a uh, evil uh, SOB I need to kill. So... No one wanders into Barovia. That's that's my whole shtick, so like it or not... Simply, I you know. allowed you to come here. That's fair enough. Regardless, I'm here. Well, you want to kill baddies? Yeah, maybe I could, now. maybe I could uh, point you in the right direction. <laughs> would that help purchase our freedoms? That it would. Quick wit on you. I Interesting. Think. What do you want us to kill? I have uh, some people who are causing me trouble, and I know some people that. Uh, I've caused you trouble in the past, Kilius. Is that so? You know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. There won't be any scratching any backs. It might Plus, be I got sharp nails. You can scratch my show. So do I. He's like, being like, picking his nails a little bit. Morgantha, the, uh, the old hag over there at the windmill. Is she familiar to you? The hags that's feeding children to people. That's the one? Yeah. I swore I had revenge on them. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, yeah. I mean, if a full turn has passed... Can you try it again? No, no, it just goes. Okay. It's a transformation. All right. I'll say, I say if a, whole, a full turn has passed, I'm a full minute. So everyone, everyone within 10 feet of me just takes a pulse of, like, radiant okay. damage. Everyone... What if your player is wearing sunglasses? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no. No. no pretty much all everyone of us except... but the two in the back. Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna look at you real quick, uh, rock on, and give me a wisdom save. Uh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. It's a good thing I added proficiency in that. Ooh. You are not now bad, charmed. Not good enough. I think it might be immune, but I'm not sure. Yeah, find out. I, <laughs> I, no, no, no. I'm sorry, I just didn't mean to with the tease. My bad. Could you uh, please turn the flashlight off? <sighs> Fine. And then I, I, I call it, I guess. Thank but you. everyone, within ten feet, still, t I'll, I'll do it after that pulse. So everyone takes. Uh, did I say how much it was? Four damage or something? Uh, equal to your level? Half your level, so three. Half your level, round it up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Three damage. Three damage. Go. Three damage, including myself. Including yourself. Mhm. Mm Scored you hurt yourself as well. So this lasts twenty four hours. What? The charm. Oh, I'm charmed. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. You're ah, not, you're not, not under his direct yet, control, son. but you, uh, you take the request and action in the most favorable way possible. Like, oh. Uh, yeah. 
But yeah, so those also, hacks. Also, I only take. I could uh, I could point you in the right direction how to defeat them. I'm listening. Well, help me out a little bit first. Come back, and I'll send you over there with the runes to destroy them. What do you yeah. want help with? I have uh, been told that my love is now located over there in Velaki. Well, I cannot get to Velaki to rescue her. So I need uh, I need some people to help me uh, make the town accessible again. So. You want us to go to some town and and let you in? Uh, we, yes, something like that. Maybe uh, take oh. care of some people who are causing my love some problems. Oh, frankly, there's only two issues with that. One, why is it you can't enter the town to begin with? And two, we're going to need some stuff if you want us to go fighting. Yeah, give me my sword back and my armor. And you know what? I'll do what's necessary. But my end goal will always still be you. Clearly, you me. don't value your life and or freedom. But very well. Yeah. You're pretty much correct about it. I'll send you... When I transport you to Valaki, I'll be sure to, uh... Give you, this, give you your stuff in the process. But the, the burgermaster there, the mayor of the town, he believes these festivals and stuff will keep me at bay. But uh, truly, it's uh, the church. The church needs to be destroyed. So, you want us to destroy some church? And then you'll give us the means to destroy the hags? Something like that, yes. I think we're going to need some specifics here. Don't mind me if I don't trust you. What specifics would you like? What exactly do you want us to do in this town? Take, get to the church. Destroy some bones. And if a, a guard with a uh, weird looking arm attacks you, don't hesitate to kill him. Kill a guy with a weird arm and break some bones. Don't break bones. Burn them. Burn some bones. Okay. Sounds simple. You've got yourself a deal. Very well. But don't let me speak on their behalf. That's one of you. The other two in the back, oh, they're staying with me. I cannot let them out of my sight. Oh. Hmm. Oh no. Um, the purple guy, the other guy we don't know. Yeah, I know that you're really good for allies and friends, but I, I can't do it. Man. Really good. So to be honest so with you, good. I barely know any of you. Yeah, I mean, we kind of just met like what, fifteen minutes ago, twenty minutes ago. Pretty much. But he's got a funny attitude, and I kind of like the tail. And I, unlike him, value my life and my freedom. So, uh, what's the deal with the, uh, what even are you? Uh, Who's that direct sword? Uh, the, the girl. Ah. I kind of, like, I would have, like, peeked over, like, what, what's up with that? You coming with us? Iris, if you would not mind, accompany these, uh, gentlemen and make yeah, sure they, uh, the job is done properly. Shouldn't be too hard to keep an eye on them. And if they get out of line, you know what to do. Mm hmm. Hmm. He's trying to send a babysitter with us. Just yeah. uh, some security to make sure you guys don't escape, you know? I mean, you're letting us go, anyways. And if it's like you said, we're all dismissed. It looks like we can't go anywhere to, uh, to begin with. So. This is true. It's either us or you. 
at the end of the day. Surely, see, before you leave, though, I do have one request from you. Okay. Could I have a vial of your blood, please? You want a vial of my blood? Please. What for? Some... I foresee needing it in the future for something. But you will be long gone here. You won't have to worry about it. Hmm. What's in it for me? I'll give you one of these now. He holds up a rune. These runes will stop the hags from uh, disappearing while you fight them. Being able to destroy them fully. Hmm. Alright. My blood for one rune now. And when I get back, the rest. Aye. They have an accord then. Some information that may help you as well. I'll be happy to give you. Because how much do you actually know about these hags? Only that they feed children to people like cannibals. And they have to be stopped. That they do. I need these children to thrive in Barovia. I'm sure you do. This is really Trust me. When you've seen pastries filled with children... You'll understand. I mean, how am I going to see the pastries? Not, yeah. not something you probably need to see to understand. It's just odd using, a f working with a, I guess a fiend to fight another fiend. It's just a bit odd. It just feels. Who are you calling a fiend? Not you, you moron. Old misty smoke over here. Oh, well, yeah. Sometimes the enemy of your enemy is your friend. And friend and fiend guess that makes sound sense. very similar. Well, they're off by one letter. So, yeah. Anyways, what are you going to do? Rope us up, blind us, and throw us in the back of a carriage with our stuff, or what? Do you all consent to this adventure? Aye. Sure. Somehow I feel like it'll be a value to me. Sure. He smirks. He he uh he takes his finger. He grabs a vial out of his pocket. And takes his finger out. Gilius, come here. He pricks like scrapes uh, your yep. arm. Lets blood start dripping out. Fills the vial and kind of like bandages you up real quick. Very well. Be gone. And as he says that, you're all enveloped into a mist. How are we going to... <laughs> we misty stepped. 30 hey. feet away. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> this is we made it to the stairs. <laughs> yeah. No, we have to do Heck this 400 yeah. more times. <laughs> 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 Everyone rest them out of spell slots. <laughs> uh, Wait, yeah. are you Strahd? <laughs> <laughs> so oh, is that the case? Stab. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, the, the smoke dissipates and you find yourself in a, in a room. This room looks like it has been ran, uh, ransacked. Oh, no. Okay. I have a feeling I know where we are. Yep. You, you hear voices <laughs> outside. Oh, are we being moved to another? I suppose this might be Not the yet. right place. Uh, I don't even understand that was instant, but somehow I'm sore. Like I've been sitting for seven straight hours on some commercial wagon trip. Ugh, nobody <laughs> likes economy. Ugh. Ah, the experience, probably. Yeah. A great one. So where do you think we are? Likely. Bets on it, we're probably in Velaki. You know, all things considered. It's where he Maybe. wants to go. But if he can send us to Velaki, then why can't he just go himself? Wait a minute. Didn't he say he was going to, like, send us with some, some gear? Is there, is there things sitting around? Or are we just, like, fully geared up That's now? That's a good yeah, point. You're fully geared up now. 
<laughs> that just that didn't notice. Cool. That would exp you know oh, that that explains the soreness. Like the clicking of the metal. Oh, that explains the soreness. That's okay. why I don't wear armor. Are you guys fully talking right now? Like I said, you heard voices outside the room you're in. Are you guys talking at full volume or you kind of I whispering? I probably would have yes. talked before I even heard the voices. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I'm a bit of an arrogant person, so. Who's in there? Your mother. <sighs> oh, what? They're not going to buy that. Who's out right there? Now? Come out on behalf of the guards. On behalf of you the guards? You come guard? in. On yeah. behalf of the guards. You hear uh, some doors start opening up. Can I also uh, pull out my greatsword then? Yep. I'm gonna and... pull out my greatsword and step in front of everyone. Just, just you know. I'm not going to point it at into my shell something. and wobble on the ground a little bit. Are you trying to hide? <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Let me see here. In through the door walks a guard. I'm moving you guys now. <laughs> Man, I wonder which house were... Yep. That mm -hmm. explains oh, no. a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> it was either this house or the poor man who <laughs> healed. <laughs> Uh, literally. Can't wait to go in the back room. Ugh. Yeah. Who are you and what are you doing in this in this house? <sighs> this house is a crime scene. The name is Rakan, and frankly, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. My head's a bit foggy. Sounds like it's been tampered with, but I don't know. Gilius McGregor. You've probably heard of me. That must be the worst ranger I've ever seen. Who? Her, her you, want, you want to kill us? Are you threatening me right now? I mean, do you want me to threaten you? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'll leave now. You're I told under you. Arrest for cyber you're a mother. It's called magic, Dumbo. Listen, we you... didn't want to be here either. Okay. He un he unsheathed the sword. <laughs> come come with me right now. I what are you gonna of... do with that? Can I? I side eye Achilles as well. Like, what? Is he really trying this? Like, maybe a small room, but come on. Is that sword even real? Do not have to use uh, that thing. Are you you even real? When was the last time you even polished that what? thing? I'm like, that's a good question. Am I even thing. real? What do you guys think? Am I real? You look pretty dang real to me. I feel pretty real. He's gonna try to stab you. <laughs> Does a ten hit you, Killis? No. Do we? Do we want to roll for an initiative now? No, whoever wants to just <laughs> destroy this dude, go for can it. Can we just, no, like, can we just assassinate him? <laughs> yeah. Can I just like, like, literally just one swipe him, just cleave him in half? Do it. All right. Cool. Become evil. Well. Man, not even. I'm a wonder. You don't want I to. Just, I got an idea again. too. <laughs> no, I'm I'm fine with it. My my oath doesn't prevent me from killing innocent people. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> and you literally just cleave this man in half. Yeah, yeah, he might be one of the endless terrors that lie beyond the stars. <laughs> terror, terror averted. <laughs> so yeah, I just just like two handed. Just stab him up and then pull through, and then just cleave his head in half. <laughs> like right. That has to be the dumbest god I've ever seen. <laughs> well, poor guy. We have seen him. <laughs> you, you hear from outside. <laughs> All right, very well, everybody. Close up. Coroner, coroner will be here shortly. Let's go file the reports. Well, who's saying this? Sounds like you hear from outside. Those more guides. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Well, hopefully they don't come back for this guy. Oh, oh, poor guy. That's, yeah. Should we hide yeah. the body? Um. Yeah, we'll I, I'll that. put this half under the bed. You shove that one in the drawer. 
<laughs> I walk over to the, the bed and just lift it up. Guts are leaking out. Just you gonna drag a... half the body and put it under the bed. You see a uh, missing floorboard? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> We're on like a second. Oh, we could probably put a bit down the there. No. Um, just sure. Just gonna Let stuff just... the other half in the under the yeah. floorboard. I'll like, pull up the floorboard. <laughs> Aye, that'll do. Well, it'll stink in here in a little bit, but... Hey, it'll, he's the, he's it'll be good first. for a day or two. We should be gone by then. Hopefully. If all goes well. After we commit... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Killius the terrorist. <laughs> well, I never I said I wasn't. <laughs> I just don't I kill kids. kids. And that's what makes Come me a good human. <laughs> I don't purposely. It was an accident. <laughs> I don't kill kids on purpose. <laughs> I swear. That's how they get you. All right, so it appears that I all the, you, the room has now become silent. Do you guys want to proceed onwards? I guess, yeah. Is there a window somewhere we can look out and see if those people are gone? Yeah, right beside Iris here is a window. All right, we're going to walk over there and just take a little peek. A little peek. See if the, see if the guards are gone. Uh, yeah, it appears the guards are gone. There may be one or two still, like, relatively nearby. They appear to be looking for somebody, but they aren't paying attention to the house at all. Aye. Looks like we can walk out the front door, no problems. Good. Let's try and find the front door. Well, there's only one door out of here, so... Start with that one. Yep. Aye. Alright, you walk that door, right. it appears to be, like, an, uh, a dining room of sorts. And we're yeah. just gonna keep walking through the next door. It's the and only one. Door. Hey, you door. Find a, there's a, a doorway, a, a door across the way from you, and a stairwell leading down. Just gonna Do take a little it? peek through this doorway. Oh, no. Poke my head around. What do I see? Uh, <laughs> you notice a, a man laying on the ground, about a seven-foot-tall behemoth, just sitting there, <laughs> pale Wait, blue. Hey. Pale blue Maybe skin. Check if this guy's alive. <laughs> I I found that body. Yeah. It's not looking yeah. like a guard. This one, it's a behemoth. Yep. I'm gonna. Hey, give me some. Give me some medicine checks. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over to him. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh man. Hi. Right, what do we see? <laughs> oh my God. We know. Finally. <laughs> we know. <laughs> this this gentleman has what multiple. Multiple like bite wounds in them. Around oh. him are just what appear to be vampire spawn scattered across it. Looks like this man sold five of them by himself before dying. This man's a warrior, I tell ya. Taking on five vampires on his own. <laughs> Poor guy. Must have been a legend. Although he must not have been very bright. Wow. Taking on five vampires alone? What a dummy. Mm hmm. How did he stab them in the back like that? All bronze, no brain. <laughs> How did he stab them? That's a good point. You know, the turtle makes a real good point, I'm gonna be honest. Mm. I mean, unless this had a mace, like a flail. He's Must swinging around the back end. I guess let's have a look. Does he have a flannel on him? Uh, Once that's in the one. body. <laughs> yes, he does have a flail. I was like, what did he oh, use? <laughs> flail. <laughs> flail. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, he does have a flail then. I look. I found a flail. Ah, that explains that mystery. <laughs> Very talented. <laughs> oh my god. This is so <laughs> Sequence of events. <laughs> Just gonna Big add a lad. flail to my character sheet. Definitely would have towered over them. <laughs> so uh, when do I get my my uh, great sword that cleaves people's heads if I roll on that twin? Never. <laughs> what a oh, bag old that has a sword that cuts people's heads off. True. True. <laughs> Everyone knows tiny swords wielded by people two and a half feet tall are way better for cutting heads off than actual <laughs> great swords. Okay. Like I, like, I like the idea that it's like a glitch in the matrix, so he slashes at the ankles, but it just gets the head. <laughs> <dead. laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh. Hey, uh, anybody need a shield? Or maybe a, a, a monkey oh, paperweight? So can I also search him for other things? Because he might have a pie on him. Hey, he doesn't have a pie. Ah. Yeah. 
He's got a shield and some some paperweight, some rope. You see yeah. a monkey just standing on a crate in the corner, being very sad. Oh, he's monkey. actually got another flail. There's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I feel like you have an itemized list of everything he had on him. Crazy. <laughs> I'm not sure where I found vintage, it, but yeah. Vintage AD14 belt buckles. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I say we take the monkey. I mean, we can't. If you want a paperweight, be my guest. Alright. Do you guys? The animal do calls you guys the best. Have... Yeah, the monkey. You take the monkey. I want to take the monkey. Right. Yep, we're headed. We're... <laughs> monkey and now we shoulder. know what happened. <laughs> now that the mystery Finally. has been solved, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for Curse's Garage. <laughs> All of the plot holes are filled. Let's head out of here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna walk out with the great sword propped over my shoulder. All right. All right. You walk back downstairs. Um, how wide oh. is the staircase? Uh, oh, five no. by five. It's a single way. Like, <sighs> like you're having like half shimmy each way. Like, yeah. <laughs> He's having to go like in, like forty five angles like, like, down. Board buckles in as I'm moving through. That's it. <laughs> More of a fear of him falling through the stairs. <laughs> How much does the turtle weigh? Okay, I'm very light-footed. Over 400 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is the lightest-footed turtle ever. <laughs> I am Dexteritus. <laughs> this really is a magical turtle. Alright, I guess we head downstairs. Yep. Out this door. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh... I guess there's a door over here, right? There is. Door here. The door like... directly to your left. All right, door to the left then. All right, beautiful. I wonder what could be in this room. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I wonder what it could you be. You notice an old dead man just sitting there, like destroyed, Jeez. like stab wounds all over, both his eyes pricked out. Yep. Well, you yep. see, I. Yeah. So do you think that was the, the big fella? Must have got to this one. <laughs> <laughs> this this is one legendary flail. It needs a one name. Precision, precision <laughs> flail use. The spike went right through his eyeball. Both of them. <laughs> I'm thinking the flail of a thousand cuts. I hope you use it as your brace the first time. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, wouldn't know what that's like. <coughs> that's never I finally happened. have a melee weapon that's decent. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Never using, never using a bow again. Can you use martial weapons? I guess you can. Yeah. Uh, you I can think use so, yeah. martial weapons. It's just... I can. I don't know how much strength he has is all. <laughs> how much Not strength does very he... good. Yeah. <laughs> Not really great for a rogue. Well, rogue I, flail I don't see, usually go well together. I actually think my, uh, my short is still better. Just because of the... <laughs> the short sword goes by depths. Not I'll sure. take that. No. no. <laughs> Ah, yes, my ninja flail. The quietest of all the weapons. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna give it to... <laughs> give it to the turtle. Imagine being assassinated with a use flail. This for. Hey, does anyone actually know how to use one of these? I mean, I can. I could figure it out. But I prefer the great sword. All yours then, turtle. Just jingling the chain back and forth. <laughs> Roll me a d20. Keep yourself entertained. D20, alright. Please break. Please. I rolled a 15. You end up hitting yourself in the back of the shell and you just notice like bounce off. Mm. <laughs> this will be tricky. Okay. Well then, uh, going to gingerly step over the absolutely dead man yeah. and, uh. Poor guy. Yeah, well, he must have had poor, so much not to poor. He looked like he was pretty. I'm well gonna to step on his stomach and then walk over. <laughs> <laughs> Why? This man's gone savage. We're all horrible people. Doesn't care. We're double killing dudes we killed months ago. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I guess we'll yeah, we step leave? up. Exit. Yeah. Okay. You walk. And outside. there's. The three of us waiting in the middle of the guards. 
Now you must fight yourself. Oh god. <gasps> I mean, it's... Who would win, us or us? Us. Who would win? Uh... uh I think Team, sure a, uh, team, team A would win. I think Team A has it on the bag. Boy, you do so much single target damage that doesn't matter if there's a tank. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, let's see here. There you people are. The teams are almost the same. <laughs> like, a there's a lot of similarities. Alright. Let me move you guys over. Oh, I already did. Cool. So, you guys are over there. What do you guys want to What do you guys want to do? Oh, yeah, I suppose got... we should look for a church. Who Who did get Mark's cloak of protection? Uh, no one grabbed it. First. No one. It would have been in the think. in the loot, so I guess we didn't even get to go there. Well, that's no, I mean, unfortunate. You had the uh, yeah, no one. Well, Mark's body was in the cell next to me. Yeah, we went to go grab it, but it, you said everything was put into a locker somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess yeah, it was with all that stuff. Still in the armory, I guess. Yeah. Next time it's you go to hey, that cloak that my buddy had. Like, let, me, let me get that. Yeah, can I get my friend's bloody cloak? <laughs> yeah. He would have wanted me to have it. It was, it was in his will. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have a will? Not really. <laughs> <you know. laughs> If I ever die to a vampire, I want I want this guy to have it. Under very specific circumstances. <laughs> yeah. Only if this happens. Anything else? He don't get it. Uh, so uh, uh do we do we see any people around? Oh, so yeah, there, are, there are a few guards around, but they kinda just hey they look very uh like they're on a hunt for somebody. So they're kinda paying you notes. Is it just guards around? There's no one else? Uh yeah, they kinda like they seem to try to like close off the area. Okay. So, uh, do we want to avoid the guards, or we just go right through them? You were told to kill a guard, just kill every guard. <laughs> we were supposed to kill every guard? No, no, I'm saying you are told to no. kill one guard, we're told to kill so a guy you with kill one arm. guard. So you just kill every yeah. guard you see. I don't know which one it is, so we're just going to take them all. Do any of these guards have a, a weird arm? Uh... What do we see? They all appear to be very human and normal. Oh, okay. wow. The fight, like, w weird in retrospect is very, like, weird non -human term. Non-human, question mark? Be because, like, oh, to, yeah, to you guys, arms. like, to you guys, like, kill it. A non-black arm would probably look weird to you. I true. Yeah, that's a good point. Also for me, because I'm gray, so. Yeah. I was kind of going or off a non-turtle you know, arm. Weird arms probably... Strange for human arm human yeah. arm that doesn't match the person that it's yeah. attached to. All the yeah. arms yeah. All to match the... the person. Yes, all of the human arms are weird. An arm that is significantly <laughs> different to their other arm. <laughs> okay, Anyone so we're not looking for, like, for an weird. Arm? Yeah. No one, no one has a leg for, arm, for an arm that you can tell. So I'm, uh, I'm actually going to approach one of these guards. Excuse uh, me. Whoa, what are you doing God. here? This is, this I just need some uh, need some directions. We're a little bit lost. We just oh. got into the city, and we're looking for the church. We're very religious people, you see. And we want to pray to our gods. Could you point us in the right direction? Oh, uh, yeah. Just uh, just follow this road to the to the west. Yeah, the west. Uh, you can't miss a big church. Big church can't miss it. All right, I'll be thanking you, laddie. Thank you. We'll be on our way. Sorry to disturb you. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, take care. As I like tend to walk away, I'm just like, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I never It's not guys. unreasonable for someone to answer a locational question. As uh, everyone, give me, give me perception. It'll get weird arm guy. Fourteen. Yeah, everyone nice. but Rock on hears. Wait. Wait. Whenever you are from the creature within 10 feet, okay, save it. Then. Never mind. Okay. This is a skill check. Ever, we got we to get this area cleared out quick before the uh, before the head guard gets back. We need to. <sighs> I don't want to deal with him in his arm. Oh. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. The head guard in his arm. The head guard's the that guy with the weird arm. Question: The guy that I just you know cleaved, did he have any weird arms? We did not. Nah. So. Okay. Good. So we didn't just accidentally kill the head guard. Okay. I think the head guard's the one we're waiting for, though. The one with the weird arm we got killed. 
So how do we, uh... We're gonna kill him. Okay. But it sounds like he's gonna arrive here at some point. So do we wait here and ambush him, or do we... It's a good question. Do we do a stakeout? Or do we go to the church first and come back? Something I think tells the me... church first would be a good idea. I'm gonna have to agree with Shellshock over here. Frankly... We may have to make an escape after murdering this man. <laughs> Actually, Fair that's enough. pretty likely. Also, a... the guard's gonna... Head guard's gonna be here with a lot of other guards. And frankly, he'll probably be best to get up alone. Not that I've You're killed guards wrong. too often in my life, but you know. So you sound very experienced. Some of them are pretty evil, so. Been around. Two times. Two Aye. few times. I'm not unlike this one. So. Well then, let's make our way up the road. As they head up let's the road show. to the church. We're gonna take a quick break. See you guys back in about 10 minutes. Okay. Go grab some water. Go use the potty. But don't. The potty? What am I, a toddler? Yes. Yes, you are, Killius. Yeah, thank you guys. We'll Killius McCregor's potty trained. Poggers? Or is it? Potty training is so poggers. <laughs> Pog. of Strahd the musical. Yeah, we've actually decided to stop pursuing Strahd, and now we're just going to start a band. Yep. Yes. A band of Barovia's brothers. I think it's a great idea. And a puppy girl. Yes. <laughs> They're chefs, so they can be whatever they want to be. Yeah, let's choose dog. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> how, so how we're on our way to a church? Yes. Yep. Yes. Aye. Yes. Um... Let's see. Here. What time of day is it? It's morn. It's growing to dusk. Probably at three in the afternoon. Okay. So okay. On, on your way, you uh, you cross obviously a lot of buildings. You notice uh, a weird lizard folk looking guy climbing on the shoulders of a uh, of a blue faced person. What skin tone is Dev? Are they pale? No. No, what are they? They're not blue. He's, his hair is blue. His hair is blue. Are you telling me that I see Bagel? <laughs> yeah. Are you telling me that Every you're currently <laughs> looking at Bagel and Dez? Everyone but uh, Kilius. Or, uh, everyone, yeah, everyone but Kilius notices this this happening. But I probably have oh, the highest perception. You're focused. My God. <laughs> you saw nothing. So it's just a, okay. It's just looks like a palish tan. Yeah. So you guys should see that in the process. And you guys run. Why are we running? We're in your run. group. You run like you keep going past them. Unless you guys want to acknowledge uh. them. We'd like to go talk to them, Sire. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's go talk to these people in the past tense. <laughs> As oh, you plot decided. holes, plot holes. Uh, no, I definitely saw them. Uh, oh. so, uh, so that church side. Yeah, so you guys get, arrive to the ch you guys get to the church. Wait, I think I see Wait. my friends. Uh, I see Bago! Oh, no. Bago! Hey, we're on a mission. <laughs> it's your boy Killius. Killius McGregor. <laughs> on the way over to the church, can I... I I'm gonna like step inside with Iris and just go. So like seriously though, what's uh, what's the deal with this? Like, how does how does this work? How does this even happen? Like I'm so confused. 
Like, you what's... get used to it. That's not very helpful. That answered literally zero of my questions. <laughs> so, I, I'm i just going to take it as you're not going to... Whatever. Just... Do, a, do as you're told and you get rewarded. That's how it works. And when we do get into some sort of fight, what are you exactly capable of? Well, she takes out her battle axe. I can swing this around. <laughs> well, that's... That will do it. Aye, that'll do it. Yeah, that's... slightly unexpected, but also welcome. So... How Looks like you're the only... dog person? Yeah, how tall yeah. are they? <laughs> are they like really small with a battle axe? Compared to all of us. How tall is everyone else? I don't know how tall people are. <laughs> uh, good question. Six foot. Six foot something. Five eleven. Turtles taller. Yeah, it's just shorter <laughs> you, than all of you. Yeah, you, you <laughs> oh, that's why. Like, <laughs> so the tiny, you guys. the tiny girl with dog ears and dog tail whips out a massive battle axe and says, <laughs> yep. "I'll take point." Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. I just look at my tiny dull sword like, hmm. <laughs> Get that's the mace okay, now. Shock. True. Oh, I <laughs> the flail. The flail. Flail. My bad. Well, right, Seth, you guys uh, start heading to church, and you notice uh, yeah. you notice a strange-looking man walking by you. You know, uh, he, uh, he, you recognize a symbol on his chest to be the town guard symbol. You notice all the other guards had it on there, and them look Does as well. he have weird arms? He does appear to have a weird arm. Oh, hey, He's yeah, see out. that guy? Look at his arm. <laughs> Don't say it out loud. Trying to kiss. No, hey! Oh. Look at his arm! <laughs> just yeah. frantically pointing at him. Yes! I know I, I know I have a weird arm. You don't have to point it out. I'm fucking slow. Can I, the can I shake your arm? Can, can, I, can I shake it? I mean, that's kind of. Can I shake your tail? If you I can have... shake your arm. I wish I could shake my shell. He reaches his arm out to you. Uh, very, very I well. Mean... Nice. My name is Isaac. Nice to meet you. When I grab his arm. I want to just pull out my short sword and stab. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, roll initiative. <laughs> we're going to get to the church first. Man, that happened quickly. <laughs> Where since, are we? Since we're going straight into this. All right. <laughs> oh, I was told to kill a guy. Jeez. Hey, kill you. If nothing else, follow the orders. <laughs> hey, look at that. Man, look this turn order is great. <laughs> but to Sorry. release the inner beast that is great initiative. <laughs> Alright, Killy, so you stab him. Stab. Oh. I roll it. Oh, oh yes, God. roll it. I have advantage. Y'all ever see the rogue get worst initiative? <laughs> uh, with the 26, yeah. you'll hit, so it's 5 damage. Alright, and then we're gonna come out after I stab him, we're gonna come out with a slice. We'll roll it again. Ah, uh, that'll hit. That one. Oh, I forgot to put my sneak attack on. Oh well. You can do that on any attack. You can do it on any attack. On a, yeah, I'll just, the first one. I'll I'll just a are we next to him? Go. Or did he just walk? Well, I, I walked up to him, grabbed him by the arm. I guess this is kind of a him. surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, this is say a this sneak is a attack. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, okay. 15, I, I rolled the sneak damage. attack separately. I think stealth rounds, surprise rounds, or stealth surprise rounds, and uh, mm -hmm. flanking. That sort of basically is. How and any kind of advantage. Yep, any kind of advantage. All right, okay. here we go. Well, I top, did my top of the turn order. Iris, what you got? All right. Wait, I guess yeah, he would have advantage with the twenty six. It's a surprise round. He he yeah, gave me the it. advantage on that one. Yeah. So we'd have stealth. It was uh, sneak attack. Yep. I'm just gonna go over to the guys. Like, sorry, buddy, part of the job. I'm just gonna. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, a nineteen, a nineteen hits. Six damage. Six. Swing, swing down the axe. <laughs> you get a, wow! You get, you get two attacks as uh, barbarian. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's lovely. Yeah, you would. It's the only extra attack you get. What in the levels. world are the crits today? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You do? Another ten. Are we day. even going to get a turn? <laughs> Is he gonna get a turn? I, I don't question? know. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Oh my goodness. All right. Poor guy. Uh, rock on. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up next to him and. <laughs> ah, I really, really want to do this, and I'm just gonna take my great uh, great sword and drive it right into his chest. Uh, let me Get see if I can hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course, of course. And, yeah, okay, that's and you I got flanking was. advantage too. I'm going to. Bing. Oh my Close god. Close enough. Uh -huh. And I'm going. How do I cast Divine Smite at. Is it all I'm not going to cast the highest level? No, it's a uh, level one spell unless you use a higher spell slot. Yeah, you you get to choose. You use, yeah, you, you I don't know. Slot. You burn a spell slot. It does an extra D8 if you. It's if you 2D8. It's, yeah. yeah, so it's 2D8 and you roll a second one. 1D8 for every level past level one. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'll uh, cast. Uh, Divine Smite. Oh, I'll have Divine Smite on top. Jesus. Right. At level two, so. One more D8 on top of that. Yep. 15 oh, damage. Whatever. Wait, hold on. I might not be done yet. <laughs> um... You sure the other team would win? <laughs> well, it does. Um. Question. Uh -huh. Does Divine Smite count as a spell usage? You burn a spell uh, slot, no. but not casting. You burn a spell slot, no, but it's okay. It's just an attack. addition to your attack. All right, cool. Then I'm gonna also uh, cast at level one, uh, heroism. Uh, no, not heroism. Sorry, divine favor. I gotta remember all of them. So it's a bonus action. Uh, so now all of my spells do an extra d4 eight a d4 radiant damage on hit. I also have an extra attack, so I'm gonna get a carve up and then. Hit him again. So. Oh God, this poor guy. Yeah, he might have been massacred. <laughs> oh, no. Turns out this isn't the and guy. I will also <laughs> cast uh, another level two uh, Divine Smite with that and then another D4. Oh, my God. Heroism. Oh, my God. Or Divine Favor. Yep. Man doesn't stand a chance. I also. Uh, we go. He alive still? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's still alive. Oh my god. <laughs> that side just took the 56 health and added a 1 next to it. <laughs> <laughs> the classic DM move. It's like, um, that wasn't supposed to go that fast. Let me just add some health. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys are level 6 now. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my turn. <laughs> nice. Right. Um, Making some light work of this guy, no problem. Kill us. Yep. All right, now it's my actual turn. Yep. I will... I'm going to take the attack of opportunity. I'm going to step away. Oh. Let's see what this man's made of. The 14 hit? Nope. Yep. <laughs> All right. Now that I've stepped away, we're going to use our, uh, our bonus action to put a hunter's mark on him. Okay. And then we're going to use our first bow shot with a sneak attack. Does that one hit? Yep. 11 hit. And okay. then we'll do a d6. And it has sneak attack already. Four. Yeah. That's my hunter's mark. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to roll again. Oh, my ah, God. Ah, wow. Uh, we finally uh, rolled that. Here we go. Ah, uh, roll me a d2. <laughs> a d2. D two, number two. Cool, you deal nine shot. damage to uh, Rock on. He's, All right. <laughs> he's taking two hits oh. from two separate allies. <laughs> Can I <laughs> not continually get hit, please? Thank you. <laughs> Every We're doing it you again. Have. You, 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 always... you get three shots. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> if only. Now. I'm going to math. He gets a turn. Finally, after taking a lot Wait, of damage. Wait, no. I lied. I do get another one. Why? Oh, my God. Oh my uh, bow, I, have, I have the bow master feet. When I take a bow shot, I can take another shot. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Poor guy. So the 14 hit? No. doesn't get a turn. It doesn't hit? Okay. Oh, my God. This okay. man has been absolutely gay. <laughs> 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 we walked up and said, you're dead. Bye. <laughs> We didn't even have a plan or stuff. He just shook a guy's hand, and this is happening. I baited him in and stabbed him. 
This is like, really unfortunate for him. He whistles. <laughs> that's yeah, fair. That's understandable. Fair enough, totally gonna cover his mouth on my he turn. He was gored and gouged, and then he's like, oh. He turns to rock on and just starts okay. swinging his battle axe. Alright. Thirteen damage? Yeah, yeah that hits. Oh, have cheese. <laughs> Can't I oh. do math today? And thirteen Ow, more, so twenty-six damage. <laughs> it hits you. <laughs> Alright, so I guess. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Alright. Um... Fifty-nine to a minute turn. I think that's fair. <laughs> All right, uh, Ma Masaccio. All yeah, right, it's time for me to kill it. Slow to start. <laughs> yep. He saunters up to him, pulls out his uh, short sword, and just goes to slap the back of this guy's armor at full force with it. Yep. And like, yeah. like slow little wind up, followed by like this like blindingly speed width of a sword. Um, okay. So 23 hits for 11 damage. <laughs> yep. Plus sneak attack. 15 more. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> so just clobber him in the back. Yep. <laughs> Your sneak attack can do 15? I'm a higher level rogue than you. <laughs> I get some more levels than rogue. <laughs> yeah, welcome to playing uh, Squeaker. After I get one level in Warlock. Oh my god. Of course. How many things can and you multi-class into? Maximum four, four but going more than two is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I guess I will... You don't have a second attack, do you? The, the rogue no. attack? No. I mean, no, I could offhand mean... attack if I like use some dumb weapon like a dagger or something, but that's not what that's How about a flail? <laughs> I don't think a flail counts as a light weapon. So... Uh, oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, so I think I will... Let's see. I, I want to mechanically bonus action hide, but what are the surroundings near me? Uh, this is like you're, he, surrounded by trees. There's trees on the left and right. Alright. Then I'll just... Disengage and... Uh, you know, I, yeah, I guess I'll just disengage then. And okay. stay out of sight of him or something. Okay, yeah, I guess I can't move hide away. action. Yep. Yeah. Turtle hobbles you can, away. You can just take it <laughs> if you want to. Just take the, the attack of opportunity. Oh, that's then, fine. Okay. Uh, hustling to his aid, a bunch of guards appear. Yep. Oh. That's unfortunate for us. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For them. <laughs> no. So they're gonna go. Oh wait a minute! They're, they're actually they're, getting good initiative. They're gonna go right after Masaccio, then top the turn <clears> order again. Oh gosh! Wait, are they a hive mind fourteen? Oh no! All right, so uh, these two are gonna go after. Oh, I went to the wrong yeah. side. They're gonna go after Phyllis. Uh -oh. Stab, stab. Uh, nine damage. I assume it's nineteen oh, hit. Yeah, why? Are you yeah, that going hits. So high. So, uh, so are we for the most part? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, these two are gonna. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm got four around me. Okay. Stab, stab. Mm -hmm. Uh, the sixteen hit. How have they? Yeah, they all hit. So I eleven damage. Another eleven cheese. And these two are gonna move up to you. Okay. Spear, spear. Uh, uh eight miss. damage. Or did both miss? Miss, miss. Okay. Uh, top of the turn order. Assuming they didn't have advantage on any of them. Unfortunately so. not. So, yeah. is the what top is... of the turn turn order be them? Yep, them again. It's... Oh boy. <laughs> oh, is it really? They went right after Masaccio, <laughs> then immediately t again. It's an oh, ambush. Yeah. So two attacks okay. onto uh, both missing, and then four attacks onto. Uh, well, for the most part, uh, wow. one of them hits. Okay, eight Bang. damage. That round went better for you. Yeah. All right. All right. What you got? All right. Well, we came here to do one thing. I'm gonna keep bashing the guy next to me. Oh yeah. Seven. Ten. Sixteen. Oh wait. As I you, technically have flanking still. <laughs> as you keep bashing and bashing, he's dead. Oh, 
poor guy. He absolutely got ganked, by the way. Oh, yeah. Easy oh, yeah. peasy. Yeah. <clears throat> How low did he actually get you there, uh, Michael? Did he do a decent bit of damage? Okay, yeah, he did damage, but I also took about 15 from my own teammates. So that's I, fair. I, I, yeah. Like, Game yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was a CR5, so it's like, you know, uh, probably, you know, level 2 and 3 <clears throat> would have a difficult fight. Yeah. So level 6 is easy. Oh, yeah. Now, just don't die to these guys. How tough are these guys? Are they I have 20. They, well, they, they, they each have 1,000 HP. Yep. Oh, wow. They're, they're oh, the man, elite of guard. Yo, know, if they're better than the actual guard leader guy. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Crazy, dude. They take out the head guard in one right. turn, and then these guys take up the full session. <laughs> You're up, Mr. Here. Kill you. I'm surrounded. Yep. What's your bow going to do yeah, now? You are. We're not going to use the bow, but we are going to take this opportunity to use our bonus action to throw down uh, Hail of Thorns. Uh, okay. Okay. What do you, what do you mean? Okay. So, you do use your bonus since... cast, though, I think. You kind of just uh, you shoot your bow in the air and kind of like air like hell thorns yeah. down. Yeah, so so each of them that are within a five foot radius need to do a uh, when oh. I when I hit with an attack, um, a ranged attack. What are you gonna hit with a ranged attack? Isn't yeah? Well, I think either of them. <laughs> he does have the cyber feet that allows him to. Hit I, I, I don't get disadvantage. Oh my god! I just mean that none of them are within five feet of each other. Yeah, well, each one that I attack, I, I get a bonus 1d10 on them. Just shoot yourself oh in the foot. I'm just saying the thorns <laughs> are only going to hurt you. At attack yourself. The, the thorns do not hurt you me. It hits yourself. only them. Yeah, okay. attack, attack yourself and everyone's within five feet of you. It, it yeah. hits them, not me. You want to drop it in chat? Yeah. This thing seems to be confusing. Uh, Here you go. And each creature within five feet, so that includes you, buddy. Yeah. Oop. Yeah, it doesn't say anything so, uh, about. So attack yourself. No. If we're well, I'm damage. gonna, I'm gonna make the deck saving throw anyway. Yeah. Right. I'm laughing to get a one. I think this is <laughs> but, a yeah. Use the spell yet again. I actually, hey, there's no hit hits me. next to him this time. So it's gotta <laughs> be me. better. Yeah. Oh Why would you still good pass over to? There you go. Which one are you attacking first? Uh, it doesn't really make a difference, but I'm gonna start with. This one. Excuse me. Once I click the right thing, this okay, one. Okay. Okay. Go for the attack. And. Oops. That hit. The seven hit. Okay, let's roll the. Uh, do the deck saving throw. No. Nope. Oh, okay. You do yours. That's another ten. You gotta roll your dex. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So that guy takes seventeen damage. He's dead. You take uh, five well, damage, Richie. Well, you yeah. still take half. And then this one? Yep. Shoot. And that hits. Nice. Nice. Is, right, is he uh, dead? Iris also make a deck save. What? Uh I think it's only yeah, on the first It's only on the first no. one. It's next time you make one, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, next time. Hail of Thorns does not proc after the first use. Yeah. It's only the first one. Yep. Dumb. The fact that it does, lasts. Does for twelve a kill? Weird. Wait, well, it's yeah. just good for like. It's like set it up if on I'm, a turn. If, yeah. it, really, it's good if I'm here and there's a bunch of people yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Twelve. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where it's at its best. <laughs> Could have it would have been not, great against, everyone. It would have been real great against those uh, wood creatures. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sort of. <laughs> so uh, is that me then? Yeah. You good? All right. Gonna take a swing at the one that's next. This one here. Yep. To my left. First, a swing, stab. That hits. Um. Yeah, screw it. We'll hit the fight smite. Boop. Level one. It's dead. Dead. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, then that was the token one. <laughs> I'll take I... another one down for my second attack. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Stab. I no attack. Is he dead? He's dead. Oh, Don't nice. have to wait for another spell slot. Man. And now I'm going to I don't run. Stand a chance. I'm nope. going to run over here. So oh, Musaccio boy. has <laughs> perfect, perfect. They can't get away. There's no getting away. Did you see a turtle loom behind this man? 
Oh no. <laughs> just getting a big clunk to the top of the Thank head. You. I like the pinky turtle sp like spells uh, shell spins over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like do it. He's rolling. Yep. Hit him. Big old clunk. Fifteen yeah. for nine damage. Big um attack. Yep. Let's see. Bing. I should just check it so it adds to it, but there we go, so eighteen. Plus I will use Whispers of the Dead. <gasps> oh, no. What does that do? What oh wait, no, sorry. Do? Wails from the grave. That's a really <laughs> scary ability, right? <laughs> um, Similar idea, yes. yeah. So pretty much, I get to choose another enemy target, and they take uh, two sneak attack dice at this level. Oh. What? <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Yep. Ooh. Ah. Interesting. Uh -oh. Here, I'll drop it in chat so we can get the flavor. I nudge someone close to the grave, and I can channel the power of death to harm someone else as well. Immediately after I deal my sneak attack damage um, to a creature this turn, I could target a second creature within 30 feet of the first creature. Roll half the number of sneak attack dice, round it up, equaling two sneak attack dice, and the second creature takes necrotic damage equal to the roll's total, as wails of the dead Ooh. sound around them for a moment. That's a oh nasty ability. You spooked yep. them to death. Do we'll it. see if I do. 2d6? Oh 11. God. That should kill. Yeah, <laughs> we spoke the death. Nobody. <laughs> this is. I. You're upset, but you should be happy that this isn't the main crew. Then. Oh. <laughs> my Did you imagine dear. this main crew against Tron? We do damage. Jeez, oh. this this is a power team. And I even forgot about my third attack that turn. This is the heavy hitters. So, he had 112 HP. You had him down to six by the end of the by, by his first turn. Are you me? I gave him more health because I'm like, okay, right, there's another hope here. I mean, I think I did over half of his damage just on my turn alone. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you did. Yep. I, I think you dropped him from like seven, you dropped him from seventy six to seventeen. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> You're like that. Thank you're you, like that <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna walk around God. giving high fives now. Let's go. We got him. So, do you take his arm as uh, as evidence? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Souvenir. Who takes the arm? Um. I guess I'll do it. I, yeah, I initiated this. I initiated this whole attack. Yeah. What's this arm? Over to like? the body. Uh, yeah. yeah what just, is this? I mean, arm? it's probably mangled now. <laughs> Uh, is it like the guy's arm from Scary Movie? No, it's more like a skelly. No, not that. Arm. So what you oh. tell me? Right? And what is he then? Is he just he, human? He is pure human, yeah. Pure human. Okay. Eh, I think I recognize this arm. It's like a third cousin's arm or something. Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> That's bizarrely awkward. So it, Either way, it, it has, did you like? Yeah, it, it has uh, barbed yeah. spines, elong elongated fingers, and long nails. Mm. So do you take it off? Aye. As you take it off, it starts merging with your hand. Uh oh. I don't know why could someone who doesn't already have scales and claws take it? Nah, uh, well, what's going on? It you would appear you've taken his arm. If, if, I didn't mean literally. You feel a lot hotter than you used to. Roll me a d20. A feral tiefling? Well, that's unfortunate. You kind of like jerk your hand in a, in a quick motion and a firebolt shoots out of it. Oh. Where's it go? <laughs> uh, it just lands on the At ground. The church? No. <laughs> it kind of just lands on the ground nearby. Okay. So. Wait. It's like, do you have? Did, did, oh, did you just dead. let me cast fireball? Do I now have the ability to bolt. cast fireball? Bolt. Fire bolt. Fire bolt. I can now cast bolt. fire bolt. Which is yeah, it's you a have a. Trip. Hey, cool. Well, arm it, activated. Technically, you can have do. A... Technically, you can do hurl flame. Is that actually a spell? Uh, um, there's produce. Flame. Hell flame. No, but just somewhere. Right, uh, no, look, yeah. look it up hurl, later. It's hurl not. flames might be a. I'll look it up after. Yeah, hurl flame is a four E thing, I guess. So I got this yeah, cool new look looking arm. Like yeah. Should we take the head as well then? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna take my great sword and just 
like one big swoop just right through the neck. Cool. Do you I hit him. Do you pick it up? Nah. Anybody else? Uh, I'll I'll kick it over to the uh to Iris and say, "It's your ma- uh, it's your master that wants this thing. All right. You take care of it." While they're doing that, can I search the body if there's some sort of like identification or something? Dude, there's nothing left of his body. Yeah, we destroyed it. <laughs> Gored him through and through. He's wearing armor. He might have pockets. Ooh. <laughs> Those pockets have holes in them. Has he got anything on him side? Uh, just a battle axe. Uh, <laughs> no identification. Nine, no, I mean, no papers. I mean, you have the guard from like guard emblem on his on his like vest looking thing that's about it is it just a guard emblem or is it a specific head guard emblem um do we know any of this you there's two emblems on it one you recognize to be the guard the other one you do not recognize and what is it is it on the armor is it on it's like on a cloak clothing cloak yes i'm gonna cut out the emblem from the cloak so you cut both out or just the one just just the the one i don't recognize okay I'm gonna take that emblem. I'm gonna take this just in case it's important. I'll start hiding the bodies. Yeah, we should probably do something about these. Oh, really? First, <sighs> can we just go burn these bones and get out of here. Another option? Don't we have to do something that with the church, though? As well. <laughs> Don't we gotta do what? Don't we gotta do something at the church, though? But yeah, the burn the bones. Implied, that is where we will find the bones. Good point. Oh, like, those are what? the bones you were talking about. I thought you meant to burn these bones, and I kind of just gestured towards the slew of dead men on the floor. Like, if, if you want to get rid of these bodies, we can take, like, 30 minutes. But that's about it. Yeah, how low in the open are we right now? Uh, you are right in the middle of the pathway. Uh, so are there, were there people just watching us massacre the guards? No, like, it was, no one really heads to the church often. Uh, it okay. was pretty desolate, like, yeah. What can I do? Are there any, like, alleyways nearby? Uh, it's just literally just, uh, trees nearby. Like, you're kind of, like, walking through the woods almost. Huh. Hide them in the woods? I suppose yeah. we can at least chuck these off the mm-hmm. road. Masatu before... just picks one up by like his belt and his cloak and just tosses it as far as before, <laughs> before we uh before we do that, can I pull one of the bodies near to the church and just jab my hand into it and like pull out like it full of blood and just write shroud on the side of it? Yes, I would love that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> that's <Just> so drip. <laughs> and I'm gonna drag the body off into the forest. Okay. I just chuck as many bodies as I can. All right, very well. <clears throat> Do you? Pull Let's go. Uh... Who pulls the trigger mm-hmm. and starts setting the place ablaze? Let's. Uh... I mean, we just got someone who had fire magic. Oh yeah, oh. we can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. Uh... Are we already Let's at the church? Take care or... of this thing. Yeah, you guys are like ten yeah. feet away from the church, like very close to the church. Oh. Time for okay. me. It looks, like, it looks like this guy arson. just left the church. Are we going to be innocent about it, or are we just going to walk in and do what we got to do? Well, I've got an idea. We probably need to find the bones. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to cast Disguise Self and turn into the guard we just killed. I have a real... <laughs> okay. I have a real question. Yeah. Um... It is currently, we... like, 8 o'clock at night, and the other youth have already left for the day. There we go. Okay, that was my question. Yep. Because there's supposed to be a whole thing that happens at that church. Yep. Has it already happened? I got it. Yep, yep. You guys are okay. already past them. Cool. Yeah. What do you mean? We were the Wonderful. people that surrendered them. <laughs> 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 that would be um, ironic. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm going to turn myself into that guard and then at the church. Well, I'm going to disguise myself as him, go into the church. And get oh. the bones. I mean, who's going to turn down the head guard? That's not a bad idea. And I uh, do the same thing and turn into one of the larger guards that we just fought. <laughs> Very well. Two people will disguise self. Yeah, I yep. guess so. <laughs> Iris, it's still like a six foot tall, you know, tough looking guard. But Yeah, Battleaxe and I will stay out here then. 
Aye. The, uh, Keep the aware. Video. Listen yeah. for the signal. If we get into trouble, we'll let you know. Yeah. And if we get into trouble, well, frankly, who cares? So. Masashi will be here. He'll he'll do a bird sound. Will he? Fuck <laughs> all. <laughs> Listen out for the signal. The least effort bird call possible. Do the <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, buddy. I heard a bird say that once. Are you ready? Sure. We're gonna enter the church. Alright, you enter the church, yeah. you see a bald-headed priest standing there in the middle of, of the room. Uh, holding man, this a, uh, brown satchel. <clears throat> gonna cough. Oh, hello! Welcome to the Church of the Morning Glory. Hello. Yes, my boss here would like, um, to see the bones. Oh, ha, I didn't recognize you. What, the bones? You just brought them to me. Y yes, he did. He needs to check on them first. I, no, they're fine. Trust me, they are fine. Thank you. I need to put them back where they belong. You know, they like, gotta, gotta keep it safe. Stamp of security. So we can close the case. Persuasion. All right. At advantage, since you guys are people of high authority. <laughs> Masaccio will figure it out real quick. Wait, he doesn't sound like the guy, though. Maybe I should do the talking. <laughs> All right. Persuasion. Let's see. I have persuasion. Sweet. Uh, ten. Oh, wait. Advantage, oh. 18. Yeah. I mean, very, very, here, here you go. Just be quick with them, please. It's getting close to nightfall. Or, oh, it is already past nightfall. Please, really hurry. Hurry, please. Of He's course. Hurry, all boom, right. Boom, 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 I walk up and reach my hand out. <clears throat> hand it to you. I take the, uh, I guess they're in a bag right now? Yes, yes. I take them and bring them over to, uh, Achilles. Hand them over to him. Very well. Hmm. Do, are they meet the, the satisfaction <clears throat> that you need? There's something a little off here. You, I think we're uh, gonna have to uh, take him are you to the Ill, station, sir? Mr. Isaac. Sir, are you getting ill? <clears throat> I have a little bit of a cough. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm gonna have to Lord take him you. down to the down to the police station. Oh, the the, the... <laughs> who are you? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have police here. <laughs> police station. <laughs> the guards. <laughs> the guards. Oh, yes, the guard station, of course. Um, the guard station. Could it not I'm going to have to take him down to the guard station. Can it not wait till the morning? I've got a clock in now. We'll bring him back in the morning. Don't you worry. Oh, I, I don't... He'll be in safe arms with me. I, I don't know. What, what if uh, you know who attacks? You know who can't get into the city. Only if these bones are here. Exactly. And they will be. No, don't the, you, you worry. You do have them, not to hear the church they keep us hollowed. Oh, then I'll bring them back within the hour. But I've got to take them down to the you guard be station. better hurry. I can, 30 minutes is the most I can give you. 30 minutes is fine. I'll send my best men on it. Thank you, thank you. We'll be seeing you. Save travel. May the morning lord keep you at peace. Praise the morning lord. As you say, that, you get you struck say? by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. We're just going to walk right out. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. Where's the arson? That went perfectly. <laughs> I heavily considered knocking him out. It was I unnecessary. Was also considering it, but we got away. So what? Did you get what we need? Yes. Yep. Alright. I'm just Without gonna step violence or bloodshed. I'm just gonna step over here, place them on the ground, and take a few steps back. Then oh, do you not want some wood or something? Use the arm and it? cast the fiery thing I did. I believe he's trying gonna, to be cool. He's gonna do it <sighs> on the bones. All right, as you as the flame hits them, they just ignite, burning to a crisp, almost shockingly. Well, <sighs> that, that went better than I expected. As yeah. soon as the burn to disintegrate, a wind rushes through, blowing the ashes away. We should probably get everyone, out of here now. Everyone give me perception. Oh, great. There he comes. Oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. Oh, I'm not blind. 
R Rockon, you hear screams come through the town. Oh, that's unfortunate. As in, in front of you appears Strahd von Zarovich himself. Hey. Oh, hey. Smoke well done. Man, how you doing? Now. The man of the hour. I'll show this town how to really party. What does that even mean? Uh, you know what? Ah, 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 ah. The runes. Yeah. He hands you two more runes. Touch these to those hags and they cannot escape you. Now, do you know how That's to, it? Now, do you know how to take on a hag? Maybe. But just in case I didn't, what would you tell me? I, they are only strong together. Your job is to separate one of them. Take her out, and the other two shall be easy. Interesting. So fighting one by one. Not single them out. If only we were good at killing one target very quickly. <laughs> they are only uh, strong yeah, 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 yeah. when all three are together. So as long as you get that one by herself. And I know fairly well that Morgantha likes to travel between Barovia and her and her uh, windmill quite often. I see what you're putting down. Set up strike and attack. He didn't put anything down. So I'm thinking we should probably set up an ambush on that road. Aye, that's that what I'm thinking what he too. Was putting down. Well, Thank Mr. Strad. Thank you for your work. Let me know when you have defeated the hags. And maybe I have more work for you in the future if you guys would like. We'll see about that. Yeah. Now, uh, Aris. could you do us a little favor and do your little thingy? Send us on our way. Do you not want to defeat the hags? Yeah. Well, they're not here. Very well. Iris, would you like to continue with these hooligans? Or would you like to return? Hmm. I'm having a little bit of fun with them. That is fine. I would not be displeased one way or the other. The lass is useful anyways. Very well. Might not be bad to keep her around. As long as you all consent. As smoke envelops Heck. you all. That is where we're going to end the session off. If only that was we... too quick. <laughs> we do... <laughs> if poor only guy. we were good at single target damage. If only, <laughs> if only. If only. If only. I didn't even crit divine smite, so. If you did, it would have been over way quicker. Crit sneak attack. <laughs> yep. I we have the crit. capabilities to crit sneak attack twice or crit divine smite. I even twice. shot you. <laughs> Yeah. It's like close roll twenty. <laughs> it's okay. We're done anyways. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, I, <laughs> I did get I did get down to twenty six. No, oh, I was but... almost like half health. It's uh, sixty one the max. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, thank so you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all these people down below. Uh all these people making wonderful content from time to time. Check them out on Twitter if nothing else. All their names should be similar to their YouTube names. Yeah. Uh I check out when these people stream. I uh, we got uh, Marcy out here with uh, Mythos. Mythos a lot. Zal's got a semi-accurate stream schedule that he's already missed the first day of. I, I, I have eye infection. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not a great start excuses, to the excuses. year. Excuses. <laughs> I was really upset by it. I kept telling myself, I can do this. I can do it. It's, it's, it's grossness. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. Check out Mario as he defeats Bowser. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. El Clasico. And uh, yeah, check out uh, Michael and Richie with whatever they're doing. I don't know what you guys are doing right now, honestly. No, uh, no offense. Not very much. Yeah, I, I didn't think this would be honest. Much. Well, sometime this year they'll be doing stuff, probably, hopefully. Hey. So, always I, I have a video out in a couple of days. Hey. We finished filming it today. Nice. But, yeah, thank you guys You're so still killing us. Hey. I'm always it's, in character. It's once you're in it, you can't get out. <laughs> okay, I'll speak like this from now on. Now that's... That's the Zylo that I like. Perfect. <laughs> Subscribe to Dyson 5. We post or videos. Not. It's up to you. Yeah, why aren't you already subscribed? Get out of here. Yeah, what the hey. heck? I don't think I'm subscribed. Um, wow. wow. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> You're banned. Everyone get your assassination <laughs> pants on. This is Marcy's last campaign.
<laughs> you say that the turtle's coming for you. Like you should be yeah. scared. Any <laughs> minute now. Watch out for the turtles in your yard, everybody. Good night. Assassinates people with his shell spin. Oh, I am subscribed. I'm saved. Okay, hey! cool. I just don't remember doing that. <laughs> All right. See you guys next time. Uh, Sunday, 4 p.m. EST. Uh, Witch light. We had people die. There's going to be new characters. Oh, fun. Bye. Will it be three or four? Uh, check the join the Discord to find out for sure. But it's perfect. Be four. <laughs> I haven't been told. He didn't wake up on time for three, so I'm gonna say four. I'm sure. So yeah, plan for four, but we'll see. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.